The Bethlehem Star Theory is an attempt to understand from the scriptures and math and astronomy when Jesus Christ was born and possibly other information. Astrology is not a part of the Bethlehem Star Theory. Only the Bible, math, and astronomy are used. Matthew, chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard it, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he asked them where the Christ would be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written through the prophet, You, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are in no way least among the princes of Judah, for out of you shall come forth a governor, who shall shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called the wise men and learned from them exactly what time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. When you have found him, bring me word, so that I also may come and worship him. They, having heard the king, went their way, and behold, the star which they saw in the east went before them, until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. They came into the house and saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Opening their treasures, they offered to him gifts gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Being warned in a dream that they shouldn't return to Herod, they went back to their own country another way. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. He arose and took the young child. Genesis 1.14, New Living Translation Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. Psalm 19 The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard, yet their message has gone throughout the earth, and their words to all the world. Luke 2, 21 through 40, New Living Translation. Jesus is presented at the temple. Eight days later, when the baby was circumcised, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel even before he was conceived. Then it was time for their purification offering, as required by the law of Moses, after the birth of a child. So far, in summary, Yeshua, Jesus, was born near a sign in the heavens, the Star of Bethlehem is referred to. And he was visited over a year later by the Magi who came from the east, perhaps Persia. Josephus mentions the Magi as a family of a ruler of Persia. The same sign in the heavens occurs again when the Magi visit. Herod orders later to kill all babes less than two years old after the Magi do not return. So we have to identify the sign. To do that we need the year of birth of Jesus. The year of birth of Jesus had been found by Gerard Gertu and many others to be 2 BCE. 
So Jesus was born in 2 BCE and visited by the Magi in 1 BCE. Herod died in 1 CE near January. Further, a further question to answer is about Psalms 19. How do the heavens speak and declare the glory of God?